Howdy y'all, welcome back to Rigs Indoors, and we're here today in American Truck Simulator. Been looking forward to this one for a while, and it is going to have all the mods you can possibly think of, or at least the ones I can get to work. Man, I tried a few, uh, getting a few in there today, and uh, just couldn't do it. Now, I'm looking over at my recorder, and I'm going to have to turn that volume down. Um, I've been trying to get things working for both ATS and ETS too and I totally forgot to do the volume on this piece I mean I don't want y'all to go deaf Hopefully that'll be better on y'all ears and we'll go from there. So, uh, what are we doing in this series? Well, uh, we're driving trucks. <laughs> now, my, my whole goal is to, I don't know why it didn't put in a custom logo here, but we'll have to get that fixed. If anybody knows how to fix that, just let me know. Um, anyways, we're driving, uh, trucks so and we're gonna have a successful company that that is our whole aim and I forgot to do something else in the options Wow the joys of setting this stuff up turn off that blast of music thank you I mean, don't get me wrong I like a little bit of southern rock and that's what that really reminds me of but when you're trying to talk or listen so anyways uh we're sitting uh, right outside of walmart and we are are you kidding me oh no i thought for a second we were taking a tandem but no that's right next to me so uh we're just gonna do a quick delivery run with this truck and on the way, I'll talk about how we're going to go about this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make this corner. Oh, boy. Come on. <laughs> Told you I wasn't going to make that corner. That's a wide corner you gotta take. I mean, I'm trying to follow the GPS. Probably a bad idea. Probably could have gone around, yeah? So anyway, we are going to develop a successful company, drivers, trucks and all, and uh, headquarters in various places. I don't have a lot of trailer mods. I found that the trailer mods were screwing up my personal game. Uh, I don't know what we can do with that. Might be able to do more. When are we going to buy our first truck? Because right now we're not going to be uh, running our own uh, truck I think when we get at least a hundred grand in the bank just doing private delivery so that could be a while uh, we'll be swapping in between uh, ATS and ETS too uh, that way we can have a worldwide company if I can get a couple map mods to work for uh, excuse me I'm coming through here, you jerky little white truck. So anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, we're going to get a worldwide company going. ETS2 and ATS. I guess I didn't need to change lanes. Coming back over, people. And as I can get them to work, uh, we'll be putting mods in one at a time. I've got a good selection going right now. As you can probably tell, 
Uh, I'm running more realistic roads, better textures. Uh, no bloom. I like that. I like having no bloom. Uh, right on the dashboard allows you to see uh, your speed limit. Because one thing that I like to do is... Hold on a second. Wait for me to be on a straight road here. Turn that little guy off. I mean, I've already got the GPS there. And yeah, I had a digital speed limit loaded out there but if you got a working dashboard why not use it hello Portland police now we're uh, starting in Oregon I wanted to use New Mexico or Arizona but I haven't had a chance to actually personally check out Oregon yet. Wow. I forgot about that mod. Um, I have a tires mod and I'm not sure which one of the ones that it is because I've got about three of them I think. And one of them makes uh, tires glow randomly. Not sure which one that is and as soon as I can figure out which one it is I will be removing it. They don't want a vehicle going by that looks like their wheels are on fire, if you know what I mean. Come uh, on, give me a green light. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Are we going to be following traffic lines? Uh, yeah. I mean, this isn't Finn Tires. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. We, uh, we're going to follow the traffic lights as best we can. Now, if cops get a little bit too annoying, like giving us speeding tickets for like one uh, kilometer an hour over or a mile per hour over, then yeah, we'll be turning off the police. Little wide, oh no. That was close. <laughs> Just happened to see it coming down. We got right on the stop line, so that's kind of nice. Where's this train coming from? There it is. What is that? Portland tram? Transit. As you can see, it's another mod that I have because we saw Walmart, now we see a Whole Foods, and that's where we're stopping into. So obviously, I'm using a real company's mod. Now, because I'm using a controller and not a steering wheel, uh, I'm just going to be parking where do you need it. If they can't afford to uh, bring in a little truck to help move stuff, then that's on them. Ah, oh, crap, I'm caught on that sign. Well, obviously, I ain't the world's best truck driver, <laughs> but we'll get better. Oh. I did it that way. Crap. We're gonna fix that. But for now, let's just see what we can do. Okay, way too far. Bear with me. I haven't done this in a while. Just 
not working at ah I got the trailer straight but not the truck I gotta go back that way. Keep going a little bit more, a little more. All right, there you go. There you go. Straighten it out, straighten it out. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. What is that person in the purple jumpsuit doing? Just a bit, just a bit more. Hey, right, straighten her out. Well, that'll work. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Not perfect, but it'll do. So obviously we are starting from the ground floor working our way at, but hey, what can we do, right? Oh, I hate these loading times. I really do. There's our headquarters. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the garage. We got it. Needs a lot of renos. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we don't own our own vehicle yet. Uh, so, uh, what's this vehicle browser got? You know, I've been out of it for a while. Okay. We can look at different truck configs. And, I mean, right now we got a camera W900. And like, one of my favorite things about W900 is, uh, give me a second here, I'm gonna take off the uh, air cab. Um, yeah, we'll put that on, uh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, I like that classic interior a whole lot better. I just like blue, what can I say? Now, paint job, now, hopefully it'll work. Uh, it's not showing. Oh, there it is, look at that. Nice big custom skin. I, I mean, I created this a couple years ago. I, I, I quite enjoy it. Now I got a white version as well. In the comments down below, tell me which one you guys like better. Okay, and the reason I took the uh, studio sleeper or the air cab off, sorry, is um, I kind of did something upside down. <laughs> uh, so we won't be running this skin. I mean, we might on a couple of trucks, uh, but only on something like this. Uh, if we actually put, wow, they're all smokestacks, okay, uh, there you go, now it actually looks better, and I'm looking forward to actually running something, now, I want to use this maybe on one truck, but I am in the process of creating custom skins for all the rest of the stock trucks in the game. Uh, if anybody can send me the templates for the uh, modded trucks, that would be great. But again, the modded trucks are really hard to upload skins for, at least from my opinion. Uh, just a lot easier to work with the stock trucks. Now, uh, with that being said, if we go back here, we are running a, quite a few mod trucks. So, 
uh, to show you what we got here. Uh, we got the uh, GTM T610 from Kenworth, and I love the look of this. Uh, there's our Kenworth W900, uh, our Mac. I uh, can't remember the model on that, but this is such a cute little thing, and I think this might be one of our first trucks we uh, actually run when we can uh, purchase our first truck. Uh, Peterbilt T680, I think, or Kenworth T680, uh, the General, GTM's Peterbilt 567, GTM's Kenworth T800, Freightliner FLB, Volvo, or sorry, uh, that was uh, International uh, 9800, my bad. Whereas this would be GTM's uh, T800, and this would be the 567. Yeah, we, okay, we get to skip the truck, all right. Uh, Freightliner FLB is right here. I got the Volvo VNL 670 from Aerodeath, and the rest are all stock trucks. So I will be running more. Uh, I do want to get the Kenworth K100 from Cyrus the Virus working, uh, but I think it's an outdated mod now. Uh, if anybody has an updated link, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. That is one of my favorite trucks to run, and we will definitely be running that. Um, I, I think I actually have a skin for it. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've even been able to use that, so I had everything uh, for it disabled. All right, moving on. Uh, we're going to do, we got time for another job, maybe two. Uh, we got an email. Yeah, brand new camera truck to sell. All right, perfect. Thank you. We don't need a new truck yet. We don't have the cash. Uh, in fact, we only have $2,338. All right. So, job market. Now, one of the rules that I follow when I'm going through is uh, whatever city that we're in, that's the city that we're going to drive from. No fast travel, that kind of stuff. So, uh, we're in Portland. And I, I'll, just to prove it to you, Portland, we're just outside of Portland. So, let's see what they got. Uh, what I'm going to do is... So we're gonna do whatever is gonna get us the most cash. I, I think I just think that's the best way to do it right now until we can afford our own truck and then we can drive whatever we want to drive. If you guys uh, want to do something different, well, you know the rules. Put it down in the comment section. So uh, we're gonna take the machine parts from Portland to Bend. Now, when we get down to Bend, uh, which we haven't unlocked it yet, but uh, so yeah, we're only gonna see what's here. Uh, we'll, we'll drive another trip from Bend uh, elsewhere. I'm hoping that we'll at least get a good look at uh, Oregon here before we move off down to Nevada, California. So go ahead and take that job. Looks like we're in a Kenworth. I do like the W900. Uh, from the original stock trucks in the game, I, I do enjoy w900 the most maybe it's just that nice big classic square body you know all righty we're in a peterbilt Alright, not a big load. Ah, I took that one way too wide. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention. 
the GPS. Can we, uh, I think we can do it. Man, the, the brakes on the controller are so darn touchy. Like, all I gotta do is tap it, and I'm stopped. Kind of hard to coast it. so hard oh, tell me to stop so we'll stop look at that I can stop <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen truck break this good in my life Uh, this gate can open for me there, right? Good. Well, I got to refresh myself on how to drive these things. Holy crap. I undercut that corner bad. Oh, that one was a lot better, wasn't it? Oh, come on. I swear. Traffic lights in this. Oh, the best timing in the world. I suppose I probably could have gone for it on the yellow, uh, but again, where I live, yellow means stop, unless it is unsafe to do so. So that intersection is clear by the time the red light happens, right? Now nobody follows that. That's how it works. So we'll do our best here. I guess I know I should have stopped. Wow. On. Really? Is that motor that weak? Power up that hill. Come on. Now we're talking. Except now we're slowing down. <laughs> Went from 55 to 50.
Although I probably should have checked out the route here. I'm going to do that real quick. Wow, we got a long way to go before we even get down to Bend. We'll run through Salem. Once we get through Salem, we'll get to an interchange between Salem and Eugene. All right. Wow. Okay. That's quite a trip. I wasn't expecting it to be that long. So, buckle up, boys, and take out some popcorn. I think we'll be here for another half an hour. Oop, wrong button. So, yeah, we have, uh, Rest up in nine, ten hours. And, oh yeah, we'll be there three hours. All right. I have to admit, I love the way these road textures look. Uh, I will be uh, putting together a collection for American Trek Sim, uh, and this will definitely be in there, the road textures and essentially all, everything I'm using for textures. Oh wow, I'm speeding. You can see a few different custom trailers that just went by. I think it was a Cabela's trailer. Love that store. I mean, I like Bass Pro a little bit better. I know it's all the same company now. But... Bass Pro is more of a fishing store, and I like fishing more than hunting. In fact, that was my summer last summer, fishing. I don't think there was a week that I didn't go out for at least two, maybe three days. I was actually doing a lot of filming with it and just couldn't get any of the vlogging side right. Otherwise, I would have actually been posting on YouTube a long time ago. And uh, that's still one of my goals for next summer. Uh, but for now, it's winter and it's cold and uh, not going to be uh, do hitting the outdoors as much. I'm not a winter guy. Like, I'm born and raised in Canada and I don't like the winter. Now what is this guy doing? That Coors Light truck, that looks really good. Whoa, whoa. What was that all about?
Now he comes back over to this lane. What's going on there? Oh, he's letting me in. Thank you. I just don't know we're going to get by this guy in there. Oh, wait, we got a turn coming up. Start. Don't ask me what's going on there. I forgot to slow down. And I was thinking, wait, who would do 65 on that bend? Yeah. A suicidal person that too. I know we're getting closer. Oh yeah. We've uh, moved pretty much an hour up. Whoa. Keep your eyes on the road there, Riggs. Yeah, you see those wheels on fire? That's gotta go. That's gotta go. Man, let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay, I changes that. Which one changes the uh, GPS on a J? Nope. J flashes the high beams. That, oh. Nope. Ah, whatever. We'll just leave it as is. I was just hoping to get more of a zoomed out look. Wow, that's actually really beautiful. Oh boy.
Oh, come on. We gotta pick it up just a bit. Are you serious? You don't have enough power to get up this hill? You're the Kenworth W900. You can do it. And back down hill. Wow, we're speeding just a little bit here, but maybe we won't get caught. Let's hope. <laughs> we're doing probably 80 miles an hour <laughs> coming down that hill. Yee. We are now in band. Yeah, one of the states that I can't wait for them to uh, put in here is Texas. I've only been there a couple of times and I, I love to admit the fact I've fallen in love with that place. It reminds me a lot of where I live here in Calgary, Alberta. But without the cold winter and the snow and yeah yeah I'll take the rain they get in Dallas before I take snow that I get here long way before And if any of y'all are from there, you probably y'all think I'm nuts. But hey, I'll trade you. Yeah, your recruitment agency. And a gas station, which reminds me, I gotta change the gas stations out. Put in uh, the real places. So that will be in the next episode next week. We can't be too far away now. Oh yeah, we're close, 25 miles. Yes, I was speeding, so what? It's hardly over. If we get ticketed on that, 
I would get be a little cheesed. Oh, that snap-on truck looks, that looks good. Or that trailer. Well, with the black truck, yeah. And there's the flaming wheels again. Well, I'm not going to promise they won't be here in the next episode of those flaming wheels. But I'm not going to promise they ain't either. Because <laughs> I got three different wheel mods. I'm not going to take all of them out. And put them back in one at a time. I'll take them out one at a time. If, it, if we see them, we see them. If we don't, we don't. Oh crap. Pay attention. Then there's nobody behind us and we got good brakes. And Pepsi check. Nice. I'm not a Pepsi guy. I'm not a Coke guy either. I like that middle ground. Real Crayon RC. Especially mixed with a, a little bit of bourbon. I hate the brakes on this controller. Just a tap too too long and you stopped. Like I barely have to touch it. Uh, for this one. I'm going to do what I meant to do before, not where do you need it. Let's play it safe. Oh yeah, I got to change those vans out too. All right, we moved up to level two. Beautiful. All right, now, as far as the skills go, I'm going to let y'all pick those. Uh, I don't want to throw in long distance. So don't. I mean, I do want to do the long trips, but because I do want to try and limit our uh, length of each episode, I could do them in two parts, yeah, uh, and we might get there down the road, uh, but long distance, I won't be, I don't want to upgrade that till everything else is filled out. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what you want me to uh, put in for the skill point. I'm not going to put it in yet. We'll put them in together. And hey, uh, next time on Rigs Indoors, American Check Simulator, uh, we will be driving a job out of Bend, Oregon. And it'll probably be this one all the way up to Astoria looks like we're driving a Penske truck yeah that's cool uh, we're taking something from the home store to Walmart beautiful <laughs> all right I don't know actually you know what we're just gonna go ahead and take that job and we'll save it from there and on the next episode this is what we're doing so until the next one, y'all have a good one.